A post-mortem has found that the comedian Benny Hill died of a heart attack. His body was found at his home in southwest London last night. Tributes to Benny Hill from a world of comedy which has also just lost Frankie Howard have been many. His unique blend of slapstick, humour and innuendo endeared him to millions throughout the world. Our arts correspondent Andrew Burrows looks back at his career. And he gets into the house and Goldilocks has said, Oh, I've been, I've been so cold. So Hans is seine chopper gewippen out. <laughs> Benny Hill's infectious smile and blend of smutty double entendre and slapstick proved a great British export, popular in more than a hundred countries. He was born Alfred Hawthorne Hill in 1924 in Southampton, though he later lived mostly in London. He developed his music hall style act in the army, adopting the name Benny. But his big break came with the BBC. He said he was the first variety star made by television, devising a panel of personalities to show off his versatility. In 1969, he was lured to Thames Television, where he developed his hour-long shows of verbal and visual humour, here as the halitosis kid. <laughs> but the saucy postcard side of his humour came increasingly to be seen as offensive, especially to women, and Thames abruptly sacked him in 1989. I think his humour was traditional humour, and I think it goes back to the days of the early black and white films, the early Chaplinish films and things. And I think if you just look at it as entertainment, and if it makes you laugh, that's what matters, just making you laugh. I think he was a good family entertainer. He liked France, where he was popular, but denied hiding himself away. Ah, uh, there are those that say, oh, he's a recluse. They should see me reclusing in the south of France at the Palm Beach Casino with the lovely dancers down there. But you have to be on your own to write. You, you cannot write if you're in a crowd of people. Benny Hill. From Chris Lowe and from me, good evening.